In today's lesson, you will learn more phrasal verbs with the word turn. Let's get started. Don't miss a lesson. Click the red subscribe button, then click the bell. Hello, Real Fluency friends. I'm Trisha, and I'm here to teach you real English use in real life so that you can reach real fluency now. And today's lesson is part two of two lessons about phrasal verbs that use the word turn. If you haven't watched part one yet, you can click the link up here so you can watch it. The first one is turn over. Turn over has a few different meanings. The first is similar to turn in, which I talked about last time in part one, which means to give something or someone to someone else. For example, he was turned over to the FBI. It can also mean to start a car or a similar engine, as in he couldn't get the car engine to turn over. It can also mean to let someone else start speaking at a meeting or event, as in I'll turn the mic over to Joan now and the her talk. It can also mean to think carefully about something. A sample sentence is, I usually need to spend a lot of time turning something over in my mind before I can solve a problem. It can also mean to turn something over so that it faces the opposite way, like, like with this book, like turn a book over so you can see the title. It's sometimes used when talking about cooking, like when you are maybe frying something on one side and you turn it over and cook on the other side. Or even to like roll over in bed, you could say a person turned over in bed. Now, turnover as one word is a noun, and it can mean a couple different things, too. It can mean the rate that people leave a place and new people come in. A common example is employees at a company. And a sample sentence for that is, I've heard he's hard to work for. Maybe that's why the turnover rate is high at his companies. It can also be a type of food called a turnover, which there is a picture of one here on the screen. The second phrasal verb for today is turn around, and this can mean for things to start getting better, for example, in a game or like a business. A sample sentence is, the economy really turned around after the elections were over. It can also mean just simply to turn in the opposite way, like for instance, I can turn around. This is me turning around. Now I've turned around. Hello, hope you now, I'll turn back around. <laughs> That's pretty easy. The third phrasal verb for this lesson is turn away, which means to refuse to let someone in a place. For example, they were turned away at the door because the building was too crowded. Or it can also mean to turn and not look at something or someone. And when I thought about this one, it reminded me of a song by Pink Floyd called On the Turning Away. I'll put a link to that in the description. It's a song, it's a kind of an old song. It, it, it makes, I really like it, but it makes me kind of sad, kind of emotional. It's, a, it's very good. If you're not familiar with the song, I have a link to it in the description so you can watch it and the lyrics to the song are written down at the bottom. I highly recommend it. The next phrasal verb with turn is turn into, which means to change into something different. A sample sentence for that is, soon the caterpillar will turn into a butterfly. All right, as usual, it's time for a shark quiz. And the answers will be at the very end of this video, so please keep watching so you can see the correct answers. And this one, fill in the blanks with either turn over, turn around, turn away, or turn into. Number one, the engine wouldn't turn blank because the battery was too old. Number two, in the children's story, a prince was turned blank, a frog. Number three, they were turned blank at the border because they forgot to bring their passports. Number four, she's very smart and was able to quickly turn the business blank before losing everything. That's all for today's lesson. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't done that yet. You can also sign up to get email and other English help from me. And if you have time, please stay and watch more of my English lessons here on YouTube. Goodbye, and remember, with hope, anything is possible. 
And today's lesson, wait, let's move this up. And you can also sign up to get emails and other more English help from me. Other more English help? That sounds stupid. You can also sign up to get email and other more. <laughs> Say it again. <laughs>